Hello. So good to meet you at our global motivational meeting. We are reading World Scriptures book, God's Words to Empower and Inspire with the great positive vibe for the day. This uh, words of God are helping billions of people, families, communities, countries, and the whole world. And it will help you to just read these words and practice daily. As we read this holy book from the beginning, please find all the chapters of our message to billion channel. Um, now we are reading about wisdom and let's read further about um, scriptures, teach only a finite portion of heaven's truth. And if all the trees in the earth were pent and the sea with uh, seven more seas to help it uh, were ink, the words uh, of God could not be spent low. God is mighty wise. All the scriptures mean as much, no more, no less, to the descending spiritual man as a water tank in a universal flood. The water from the ocean contained in a pot can neither be called an ocean nor non ocean, but it can be called only part of the ocean. Similarly, a doctrine taught arising from the absolute truth is neither the truth nor not the truth. The word uh, is uh, measureless in four quarters. The wise who possess uh, inside know these uh, four divisions. Three quarters concern in secret cause not movement. The fourth is the quarter that spoken by men. The Torah we have is the incomplete form of heaven's wisdom. I have yet many things to say to you, but you cannot bear them now. When the spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all the truth. Every term has a book. God blots out and... Uh, he establishes whatsoever he will, and uh, with him is the essence of the book. Uh, whether we show you a part of that, we promise them, or we call you into us, it is you only to deliver the message, and ours is the recognition. Let's read further from. Messiah, second coming, Father Samuel Moon quotes, um, spirit and truth are unique, eternal and unchanging. However, the degree and scope of their teaching and the means of their expression will vary from one age to another as they restore humankind from a stage to utter ignorance. For example, in the age prior to the Old Testament, uh, when people were still unenlightened and uh, could not uh, directly receive the word of truth, God commanded them to make sacrificial offerings as a substitute to the word. In the course of time, the spiritually and intellect of human beings were elevated to the point when the Moses day, God granted them to the law and at that time of Jesus, he gave the gospel. Jesus made it clear that uh, his words were not the truth itself. Rather, he declared that he himself was the way, the truth, and the life. Jesus was the incarnation of the truth. His words were just a man by which he expressed himself. Thus, the scope and depth of Jesus' words and the method of his teaching varied according to whom he was speaking. In this sense, we must understand that the verses in the Bible are only one means of expressing the truth and are not the truth itself. The New Testament is but an interim textbook given to enlighten the people of 2000 years ago, whose spiritual and intellectual levels were far lower than today. The modern scientific mind is just what the truth cannot be satisfied by expression of truth, which are limited in scope and 
certain symbols and parables are meant specifically at this tactic the people of an earlier age. For modern intellectual people to be enlightened in the truth, where there must appear another textbook of higher and richer content, which with the more scientific method of expression. So powerful quotes. Uh, if you have difficulties, please watch one more time this video. Share this video as we end this video on Happy Life Subscribers Marathon for happiness and uh, true prosperity. I wish you a great blessed day. Stay happy, healthy, and see you tomorrow with more powerful quotes. All the best. Bye-bye. Uh, Yours, Coach Nikolai Sepal.